In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest thoughts on the new science program from the Good and the Beautiful, uh, Science for Little Hearts and Hands. I'm super excited. I just received this in the mail and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a first impressions, my honest thoughts based on my first impressions and give you a bit of a flip through as well. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Gina, Gina for short, and welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome. I am a working homeschool mom of three kids. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my honest thoughts on the new science program from The Good and the Beautiful. And it's geared more towards littles, uh, the preschool to the second grade age. I did get my hands on this curriculum and I wanted to share with you guys just my honest thoughts. Let's do a little flip through. Let's see what this curriculum is about. And it'll probably help you if you're thinking of placing an order on the Good and the Beautiful. Maybe this would be a curriculum that you want to add to your basket for next year or maybe for the summer or for now. <laughs> so the Good and the Beautiful, they came out with a science program for younger ages, which I'm really excited about because I personally, I was going to actually use the Good and the Beautiful Science this year, but I ended up not doing it just because I have a big gap between my uh, my oldest and my youngest. They're like four years apart. So my youngest is in preschool and my oldest is in second grade this year. So um, I, I decided not to do the science program from the Good and the Beautiful. I was going to do the marine biology one, not because I think that we wouldn't like it, it's just that in the season of life that I was in, I just wanted something a little bit more simple. And I feel like maybe this could be it, right? Something simple. And I feel like it's something that my oldest and my youngest maybe can do. So I'm gonna open this up and we will see. Okay guys, if you guys go into the Good and the Beautiful website and you go into homeschool curriculum and the science and health, view all levels and you go to science for little hearts and hands, you will see here that the um, this unit, Fields and Flowers, it's the only one they have for little hearts in hand science. It's $39.98 American. And you can read up on, you know, what's included. Um, and they'll have like details regarding the course. Uh, there's a sample pages that you can take a look at as well. And then it goes over the course. There's even like a video that you guys can watch. So definitely a lot of information here on their website. So you definitely should take a look at that if you are interested and I will link it down below. But I think that $39.98 is a really good price for this curriculum. I feel like it's right within my budget. So I definitely like the price point of it. Okay, let's do a little flip through. Let's turn you guys around and let's see what this curriculum, how this curriculum works. Okay, let's turn you guys around. Okay guys, as you guys can see, there is the parent guide and there's also the big book of science stories. So let's look at the parent guide first. So let's just flip it around. Guys, this is my first time opening it up. So it's very pretty, as you can see, of course, the good and the beautiful is always very beautiful. Uh, their illustrations, I just love it. And here's the table of contents. There seems to be quite a few uh, lessons, which is nice. Um, and I'm guessing that it's going to be fields and flowers. You're learning about, uh, you know, trees, flowers, plants, um, insects, and that kind of stuff. So it talks about the course, what the course set includes, how to get started with this course. So of course, in that good, in the beautiful uh, fashion, they're gonna let you know how to use this course. There's a lesson overview. Each of the lesson is two pages and is parent directed and provides detailed teaching for young learners. So they're either uh, in story or video format with directions for the parent included in the lesson. These lessons can be completed in any order, which allows the parent to follow his or her child's interest. That's interesting. Oh, that's nice, okay. Uh, if, if instructed to do so in the lesson, read the suggested story to the child, taking the time to enjoy the detailed illustrations 
Every other lesson includes a story from this resource. You're gonna have a little blurb here. I won't show it here on the video, but um, you can find the videos online and then you'll have a password here, but you have to purchase it for you to be able to, to use the videos. So there is activities. So opening activities are listed in the beginning of each lesson and optional, of course, right? And then you can go on their blog as well and check out the activities. There's an important safety notice here as well to monitor your young children in your home to prevent any problems like choking and whatnot. So frequently asked questions section. So I do have to get, I have to go through the, these questions. I like reading everything. So, so, so nice. And there's correlated books. So you can add some resources that you can find in the Good and the Beautiful Library. They have several books that go along with this that it's optional, of course. And I actually have these books, guys. So. The Beatles flip book and the butterfly one. I already have this because I purchased it last year. And then the insects and spiders and mazes, I have that one as well. And it's pretty cute, I could just show you. It's just almost like uh, you can use a dry erase marker and it talks about different insects. And then there's little, there's little mazes for the child to complete and they can erase it and do it over and over again. There's the butterfly uh, flip book. So you can just like match the different butterflies and then there's the Beatles flip book as well. And I actually didn't even cut this one. We haven't used it yet. So this will be nice for us to add to the science unit. And then I also have Glenn and his goat. And this is a level two reader, super cute. We actually have this one as well. And you can see that it's more geared for level two. So some of the um, pages will not have illustrations and it's a chapter book so I don't I don't have the frogs and snakes one okay so let's keep on going so there's an activity supplies so it's nice for you to kind of look at the lesson and see okay do I want to do this activity so you can plan ahead but it seems like a lot of them are probably even uh, supplies that you have on hand so like lesson one paper several leaves and several crayons probably super easy activities to do with your ch children. So this is the first lesson. We're learning about trees that live and sleep. It starts off with a poem and you can see here it's pretty interactive as well. It's like, read to the child holding up your fingers for the number of trees as you read the poem. So very good in the beautiful fashion with poetry uh, entwined in it. So I like that. There's the supplies needed up top as well. And it says read to the child. So very much that good and the beautiful kind of flow. Movie time. Let's see here. Okay, so you can watch trees that live and sleep with the child and then return to the parent guide for dis for discussion questions. And it has the discussion questions. So we're gonna watch a little a little video. That's nice. I'll see if I find it and maybe I can put it up here so you guys can take a look at it too, just so you can get a little sneak peek out of it. And then there's a discussion and there's the optional activity. Very nice and straight to the point. I like it. Let's keep on going. Trees ear round, that's the next one. And you can see it kind of goes, it flows the same, I'm thinking, right? So you have your poetry, which is nice. And I've wanted to incorporate more poetry into my homeschool. This is really nice. And then has a little section for us to read about most likely trees about the trees. There's story time. So it asks you to come in here into this book. So let's take a look. Lucia's, Lucia's Christmas fur, Lucia. Lucia is my mom's name actually, grandma's name. Okay, Lucia's Christmas fur. And I can actually even see myself even taking this out around Christmas time just to complete a lesson. And look at that guys, that's really nice. Okay, so it's a nice book and I'm probably, it's probably gonna have facts about trees in here. Um, that's really nice and cutting down the Christmas tree. Look at the illustrations and it's not too, it's not super long and the illustrations are beautiful. Nice, nice pictures. Of course, The Good and the Beautiful, they are known for making everything beautiful. Okay, we'll go more into this book over here because I just wanna give you guys a little bit of a flip through. So the tallest trees, so we continue with trees over here. 
And I can see that the flow is pretty much the same. So we're gonna talk about tree bark. That's really nice. Tree sap and syrup. I can see myself even going back maybe to these lessons um, and doing it with my kids if just interest led, you know? Mushrooms and moss. Wildflowers. I actually have a little game and flower book from The Good and the Beautiful. Let me grab it. Okay guys, sorry. I know I'm really off topic here, but I'm just, I get excited. So this is the flower study from The Good and the Beautiful and I bought this last year. And I'm gonna do this in the, once we start planting our flowers outside. I can see myself incorporating this book and there's a flower game as well. It's a card game, I believe, yeah. It's a card game, it's a flower game. I haven't even opened it up yet, guys. So there's a flower game here and you can maybe incorporate that into the lessons that incorporate flowers. That's really nice. Okay, movie time. So it, it's almost like movie time, story time, seeds. Okay, this is, oh, and I have so many seed books, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna show you all the books I have, right? But anyways, I can see myself really using this right now, actually, right now. Garden flowers desert plants, plants that eat, parts of a plant. That's really nice. This summer we have a lot of mosquito beetles. And look, you can grab your beetles flip book. That's nice. So, I mean, if you're gonna put an order in, you might as well maybe get those, you know, those recommendations. Worms, guys. And that is it. So now let's look at the, okay, the big book of science stories. And I know I'm gonna like this, guys. I know I'm gonna love this. Okay, so here's the table of contents. You'll see that as you saw from the lessons, it's almost like you, you do a lesson with one of the stories, then the next lesson is a movie. And I'm actually curious now about these movies. A Brother's Bark. Okay, and that's about the barks of the trees. It look, look at the beautiful man. They just amaze me every time. I don't know. I'm just really digging this right now. Abuelo, <laughs> that's nice. Some Spanish in there. Desert plants, masters of survival. So I think you guys can kind of see and get the gist that they're not short stories, okay guys? They're not very short. My preschooler would be super fine with this. Parts of a plant. Okay. Parts of a plant. Okay, this is nice. It's incorporating it in very much of a story form. I actually have a dandelion unit study uh, that I got from a bundle. Past bundle. Look at that. That's nice. Butterflies, look at the illustrations, man, look at that. That is beautiful, beautiful. Very gorgeous. Yes, look at that. Fun facts about butterflies. Adam's ants. And I like that how they're incorporating it into that kind of story form that the good and the beautiful does, that Charlotte Mason type of feel, right? Um, very nice. The queen, that's nice. I would love to do an ant farm with the kids. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. And it's talking about like all the little chambers in there, the nursery. That's nice. Oh, I can see my kids, guys. I'm just gonna give you guys my thoughts here as we go uh, through this uh, and give you a little bit of a flip through. I I'm digging this, guys, and I'm digging it more than I thought I would. Um, I haven't been excited about science in a very long time, like an actual like science program, especially for my little ones. 
I'm excited. Wiggly worms, guys. <laughs> My kids are gonna love this. I can see myself doing this over the summer. For sure, it seems very easy, open and go, just simple and straight to the point. And guys, I'm in a season of my life that I do need simple and easy, open and go. And that's just what I need in my life right now. I'm gonna say that I would definitely recommend this, guys. Um, I think the price is right for what you get. Like you could tell there was a lot of love and thought put into this. And I notice here a lot of diversity. Are you, are you seeing this? Like a lot of diversity as well. I am very, very much digging this for my younger kids. I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna start this, guys. Would you guys want to see maybe like a lesson? It's doing a lesson, and then I can give you like this is my first impressions, right? So honest thoughts, first impressions. I am really, really, really loving it uh, more than I thought I would. I'm gonna be honest with you, more than I thought I would. There is gonna be so I'm noticing here just in pages, it's gonna mention God. And it, it, it is Christian curriculum, right? Uh, the good and the beautiful is known for like adding good morals, right? So I am loving it. Okay, guys, what do you guys think? I'm really liking this, guys. This is this has gotten me excited for science. I haven't been excited for science in a long time. When it comes to like a formal curriculum, I'm excited. So uh, yeah, that's a little flip through. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. Will you be purchasing it? Are you thinking of purchasing it? And that's it guys, that is my thoughts. I say big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.